popular television show, The Munsters, surprisingly only ran for two seasons and 70 episodes, but that was long enough to make Fred Gwynn, aka Herman Munster, a star. The show, which featured a macabre take on suburban life, follows the antics of the Munster family. Fred Gwynn, his height already being 6'5", was made larger than life with 50 pounds of makeup and 4-inch boots. Fred Gwynn, known for a wonderful sense of humor, would be quoted as to saying, I love old Herman Munster. As much as I try not to, I can't stop liking that fellow. The downside of this role, it would lead to Gwynn being typecast. He did, however, have other successful roles, such as Judd Crandall in the movie adaptation of Pet Cemetery. Fred Gwynn was a native New Yorker, so let's just go ahead and ask the question now. How did Fred Gwynn end up in an unmarked grave in Finksburg, Maryland, at the Sandy Mount United Methodist Church Cemetery? Gwynn moved in the later years of his life to a farmhouse in Taneytown, Maryland. Taneytown is just outside of Baltimore, and although born in New York City, he traveled all over the country due to his father's work. Upon graduation of school, he joined the United States Navy. He chased his dreams of becoming a Broadway star and found himself back in New York City. He landed a role quickly. He found himself on television and a short time later, he met Al Lewis, Grandpa Munster. As they say, the rest is history. At the end of his life with declining health, he was diagnosed with pancreatic cancer. He succumbed to the disease in 1993. Gwen would be laid to rest in the previously mentioned Sandy Mount United Methodist Church Cemetery, and to this day, nearly 30 years after his passing, he has no stone or marker of any sort. While the cemetery explorer inside of me finds this sad, it's really not a sad story. It appears that the decision was made by Gwen and his family. He simply didn't want one. So whatever his reasoning, it was his decision and apparently his wishes were respected. So even though there's no marker or gravestone, I simply wanted to pay tribute and respects to Mr. Gwynn and bring the story to you. And I know that sometimes we look for these profound reasonings for decisions that people make, but sometimes it's as simple as just a personal preference. All of my videos have something to do with the cemetery and today I wanted to take a look at Fred Gwynn aka Herman Munster and I knew that he didn't have a marker so I wanted to look into that a little more deep and just turns out apparently he just didn't want one so you know if that's his wishes that's his wishes so join me please like and subscribe I would love to hear your comments if you were a fan of the Munsters or Mr. Gwynn I would love to hear that if you don't mind leave a comment below I love reading those and I try to respond to all of those so uh, please leave me a comment. Also, if you haven't subscribed, please click subscribe and join me. All of my videos have something to do with the cemetery. So if you like cemetery content, you know that it's what you are going to get from me. Once again, thank you for watching and looking at the life of Fred Gwynn. I will see you again soon.